You didn't know? You've been benching wrong your entire life when you could have been getting bigger than 90% of men. And you probably didn't know you were doing all these wrong either. But guess what? There's simple ways to fix this and we're going to teach you. So if you're new here, I'm Sam and this is Adu. And our main goal is to help you improve your lifts. And if you're anything like us, you started lifting a while ago and you didn't realize how f***ed up your form is. But we did some research and we're going to show you how easy it is to fix your form. You might be wondering how a small tweak can make you bigger than 90% of men. It is a pretty big number after all. So a lot of the times when you actually don't do these little tweaks, you're losing time under tension and you're not hitting your muscles with the full range of motion. When you have full range of motion and you get that good stretch, you tear way more muscle fibers and it allows for better recovery and growth and you'll get bigger than the average man. Now what is the 90% of men that you're trying to beat? The average man has a body fat percentage of 24%. Most of those people don't even go to the gym. So if you go to the gym, you're already winning. Now these tweaks are so little and effortless, but still we walk through the gym every single day. We see people putting in the hard work, but still not maximizing their games because they're not making these tiny, easy tweaks. So that brings us to the question, what are the tricks? Now before you do these small tweaks, we advise that you use lightweight to avoid injury. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what weight you use, as long as you're hitting your sets to failure, you're maximizing your gains. So let's start with the incline bench. What people do on the incline bench, which is the wrong way, is they arch their back, they have a close grip, and they rep their sets quick. You're gonna wanna get on the bench, get a nice wide grip, and when you're coming down to this point, you're gonna wanna bring your elbows up so you have a deep stretch in your chest. Back up and push. Now control every single rep. When I first made this tweak, I felt the craziest chest pump of my life. And I've been working out for five years straight. All right, the shoulder press is another very common exercise that people tend to fuck up. The wrong way that we see people doing this is keeping their arms as far out as they can. Now this is terrible for your shoulders. I used to do this and I've been messing up my shoulders. Now, to do it the proper way, you're gonna wanna go from this to this. This is gonna put way less stress on your rotator cuffs. So now when you push up, make sure you're going all the way down because now that your arms are a little closer together, you have more room to activate those beautiful shoulders of yours. Now the tricep push on, one of the most common exercises you see people doing in the gym, but everyone's doing it wrong. A lot of people, they hold their elbows at 90 degrees, they rep out quick, they're activating their legs and abs, and they're not really isolating their tricep to hit failure quicker. The correct way would be to lock your hips, get a full stretch all the way up in your tricep, and go all the way down and controlling every single rep. When you do skull crushers, you're going all the way down, so it makes a lot more sense to get a deep stretch when you're doing this. It's the same concept. Getting a full stretch, you'll be able to hit your sets to failure a lot quicker. Now every single man who starts their fitness journey wants giant Death Star delts. But when they do lateral raises, they're doing it incorrectly. They usually grab it, they bent over, and they just start flapping their wings and doing about 30 reps until they feel like they hit failure, but they never do. Now the best way to maximize your side delt growth is to grab a cable, pull it, get a little bit of gap to have constant tension, and hold it, and go all the way up to the shoulder line. You're not activating any other parts of your shoulder, no traps, no legs, no nothing. And as long as this does not rack, you'll feel constant tension in your shoulder. You'll be able to hit your sets to failure. And in no time, you'll have Death Star delts. And every single person is gonna come up to you and they're gonna think you're on steroids, but you're really not because you just watch BTV. Now the next one is the Easy Bar Curl. Now everybody knows the Easy Bar. This is the bar that everyone has at the gym. Now, the incorrect way to do this, first off, is putting way too much weight on it and swinging the weight back and forth like this. You're gonna fuck up your back and you're using way too much of the rest of your body. <laughs> now, the correct way to do this is you pick a light to moderate weight, put your feet together, you bend slightly at the hips, you keep a straight back and your arms are fully stretched out. Now, full range of motion is very important for your biceps because you're tearing more muscle fibers that way. Keep everything nice and locked out. Stick your chest out like you're a little bird and start curling only at the elbows. There should be no other point of movement. The only joint that's moving is your elbows, nothing else. You're doing slow and controlled curls. The squat is very commonly messed up. A lot of people put the bar on their neck. They don't put their chest up. Feet are too close or feet are too wide. Not enough depth in their reps. They're doing half reps. Let me show you the correct way to do it. Now the proper way to squat 
is to get the bar on your traps or back, not on your neck. Pull it up. Keep your feet at shoulder width, slightly outwards. Chest up, down, hit that depth. Make sure your arms are close so you're locking the bar. It might be hard to hit these to failure, but if you're hitting them properly, it's great functional training. It's great for your core, it's great for your legs. Now, calf raises are very commonly messed up too. You wanna to be that, the dad at the cookouts with the big calves. Now, the wrong way to hit calves is no full range of motion. Just sitting there repping out, you're doing it at the end of your workout, you don't really care. Calf raises are so simple. You wanna get your bolt? <laughs> Calf raises are so simple. You want to get your balls on? <laughs> Calf raises are so simple. You want to get the balls of your feet on a raised platform, completely stretch on the negative, hold for three seconds on the way up, and control every single rep. You're going to feel burn in no time. You're going to tear every single muscle with the high tension. If you're doing these right, you won't even be able to walk. You could do that in three sets. Now, another exercise that people tend to do incorrectly very often is the standing lat pushdown. Now, the incorrect way, first off, would be to use way too much weight. Now, you can see, once you use too much weight, it automatically starts engaging your core and taking more away from your actual lats. Another thing people tend to do incorrectly is standing way too upright because then you lose your balance and your upper back starts to get engaged more than your lats. I'm gonna show you the correct way to do it. First off, Set your weight lower so that you can control the weight way more. Because as we said previously, lightweight is fine as long as you're going to failure. Get the bar about shoulder width. You're gonna to wanna to bend 45 degrees, slight bend in your knees. That 45 degrees is in your hip. Keep a straight back, not completely arched, but also not completely like a C. You're gonna to wanna to keep it nice and straight and pull down completely to your thighs, to your upper thighs. You want the bar to come to your thighs and a slight bend in your elbows because once you lock out, blood starts rushing to your triceps. So you wanna have a slight bend and just bringing it down, you'll feel your lats start to contract. Get that demon back and get those little angel wings that you've been trying to get for so long. But if you find yourself not having access to a gym lately, go ahead and check this video out to hit some fire workouts at home. See you next time.